When I went to fellowship and I realized that you could focus on not just you know the oncology portion, but the hematology portion, and then work on bleeding and clotting, and um, realizing how much that affects women, right, day to day. Not many people that come out of training want to do hemostasis and thrombosis because it's not easy. You have this generations and generations and generations of women who have had bleeding with childbirth, some of whom have died in childbirth generations past. We have medication to fix that. I can make you not bleed anymore. I'm trying to do that so that these adolescent patients of mine have a voice and they can speak to physicians in the future and say, no, you need to look into this a little bit more. You can't just leave it at this. I became a member of the Foundation for Women and Girls with Blood Disorders very soon after my fellowship. Now I'm so happy that I get to work with young girls that have bleeding disorders and teach them about things. The Children's Hospital at Montefiore is a great place. We don't have tons of funding, so a lot of the things that we do, we do from the heart and we do on our own. We've been doing the clinic for about a year now, so you can imagine how long it's taken. And I think that there's so much that we don't know about women in bleeding. Just the whole field of hemostasis and thrombosis is a field that's really untapped. But with the foundation, I didn't have to sit there and do all this research to try to figure out all the logistics that you need to start a clinic. They were able to just give me that. It's bringing all of this for you into one room, right? You have all these people that are interested in the same thing. That's something that the foundation did to help me start my clinic. Starting a clinic like this in your institution is not only important for the care of patients, but it's important for your own personal career, right? And so there's a few of us across the country that really enjoy this. We take care of these very difficult to treat patients. So the foundation is amazing because it brings us all together. So the communication is much more fluid. It's like just friends that are, you know, working towards the same cause. It makes you feel like you're not practicing in a vacuum. And I know that there's a bunch of people that are together working towards standardizing treatments. And so every time that I see something interesting in my clinic, I automatically bring it back to, this is something that we could look at at the foundation. And so it kind of ties you all together. And I'm part of this whole big group. I'm not alone.